can take you on a bit of a tour. The space develops as I develop in a way. Usually every year I will go through and change an aspect of how it works and it just moves with the way I'm understanding my practice at each time. So I don't think studio spaces are ever static for too long. I think that's really important in studio spaces, having that constant amount of um, or things on the go without having to put everything away each time. That's wow. my metal workbench. So I make all the aluminium parts myself within this process. It just gives me that freedom to be able to tailor things, I suppose, and get both the mechanical and also an aesthetic within the, in the work. It's really nice to make technology tell another story, especially when it's my family history, Indigenous history, and some of the technology was used to override other histories to be able to change that. And I think give that technology a, a freedom to bring something else forward. The work here, once it gets covered with the calcium carbonate, the white chalk that goes on here represents that way I was taught history, almost a whitewash. There are six coats on it and six coats on the floor. Data stratification was using a mechanism that it traced translations of another language and that had a hundred strings and that went to a hundred objects that were moving. That was translating that text into a uh, moving landscape. The idea of marking these walls with these materials, there's a, a certain satisfaction in seeing that happening over these very pristine spaces. I'm sort of looking at having a mechanism centrally located or on the floor. I really want that ab ability for people to be able to explore that space and get close to the mechanism because there's an intensity within that mechanism. I think there's a magic within that. It's always a, a fascinating thing to put technology and natural materials together. There's an auditory component to that where there will be the, the very mechanical sound of, of the mechanism and then you have the sound of those branches which scrape and then plunk every now and again and you get this conversation that happens between them. Part of the appeal is that interaction between these linear things with something organic. It's a performance that only happens in that split second. <laughs>